guys, how's it going? Phil Montelioni, the book peddler. If you haven't, hope you like and subscribe to this YouTube channel, the book peddler. Stay up to date on book picks and store out store activities, whole mess of stuff. I went on a book pick and um, out in the sticks, and I got some beautiful material I'd like to show you guys. I didn't film the pick, but um, you're going to see the end results here. My shop's a complete mess. I'm going to have a very special announcement. Uh, something wonderful that I went in on uh, that's going to solve a lot of space problems, put it that way. And so that'll be in a future video. It's very exciting. So I've never been busier. Uh, but um, hey, keep the train moving forward. So guys, let's check out some of these wonderful gems that I was able to, to pick up. I'm going to start you with this book here. This, I believe, is the best one of the lot. So let's start with it. Open it up. Now, I haven't been, I haven't started doing my my research, of course, anything you see, you can reach out and inquire. I'll try to get a price for you. The Laws of the United States of America in three volumes. Now, this is volume two, published in Philadelphia by Richard Falwell, 1796. Acts passed at the first session of the Second Congress of the United States of America. Um, I can't read through the camera. Begun and held at the city of Philadelphia in the state of Pennsylvania on Monday, the 24th of October, um, year 17, uh, what is it? I can't read Roman numeral too well. 96, okay. Not not on the spot like this, anyhow, I'll be counting. Uh, and uh, the Independence of the United States, the 16th. Very cool book. Even though it's a, just a volume two, I believe that these are. This is very valuable. I once had a, a volume th three or two of the Federalist Papers by Hamilton. Did very well. Just that volume. So, okay, guys, it's a wonderful in the original state calf leather book. Laws of the United States. All right, let's take you some more. Here's a very nice um, two volume set here. Battles of the United States. Now this is X Library. But the only real markings are on the spine there with the stickers. So let me show you the title page. Um, has some light foxing uh, within within the front inner board and end page. There's uh, a little some mold spores starting. But this is a beautiful set. Great illustrations throughout. This shouldn't be a problem uh, to sell. Let's keep it moving. I want, to sh I want to show you this one. Um, let me position it. This is a photographic atlas of diseases of the skin by George Henry Fox, Physician's Edition, 1902. The only thing really wrong with it is this page um, has creeped its way out. Um, but this, I, I know that there is a market for books like this. Um, big portrait, color photos, protected by the tissue guards. There's some real, you know, horrendous uh, looking pictures. Feel bad for people that have stuff like this, but very um, detailed pictures, just sharp imagery. And here's the one that was uh, that was removed. But um, yeah, wonderful book. Bef before I keep going, uh, if you're watching, special thanks to Tabitha and Sophia. Very nice meeting you, ladies, and thank you very much for the access. And everything. It was an enjoyable day. My back is is hurting very bad going up those stairs carrying those books. But thank you very much for for your support, Tabitha, on my channel. I'm glad you enjoyed the content and thanks for reaching out. Really appreciate it. Pleasure to meet you. Doors always open for you. Okay, let's keep going. So, what do we have here? Here's another interesting book. Actually, before see all these like uh, manuals there. I have a bunch here too these are pretty cool i know someone who collects these i'll just take you on the inside pull out maps in the front they're from the 1850s 60s 70s and 80s i think all belonging to the same man and these are uh legis uh use of the legislature um so again you have a collector for everything really out there and i do have someone that that's purchased these off me before and now i got a nice little pile for them all right, let's check out this book here. It's cool. Look at that leather repair. Put it over here. Everything's a mess in here right now, guys. A little beat up. The family advisor. 
or a plane in modern practic practice of physics diseases of america by henry wilkins 1801 i love books like this i know there's a collector's market for this kind of stuff even though it's beat up again you're dealing with really early medical and there's definitely a market for it here's duncan's ritual of freemasonry freemasonry stuff is really well it does really well for me there's only one freemason book i can't seem to get r rid of but here here you go duncan's masonic ritual monitor ancient york right um it's got diagrams and um let me see here. Different illustrations of the society. Really, really cool book. I'm sure this will sell. That was neat. Here's one. Uh, bayonet exercises for the army. Very clean interior here. Um, military books like this are really good stuff. So, um, manual of bayonet exercises prepared for the use i'm sorry about the shadow guys of the army of the united states by george b mcclellan that's the civil war guy there let's see the date though 1852 again there'll be pull outs and diagrams of how to properly use your bayonet uh if i can find one for you and there's one for you. The Volt. Oh, there's a bunch of others filled with them in the back. That's how I look when my girlfriend gets out of line. <laughs> Start rearing back. Yeah, let's try to find another one. That's really cool. Um, I, a lot of New York State stuff. Uh, this is a large folio. 1871 Harper's. Sunshine at Home. Pretty, pretty illustrations. See, I just got boxes lined up again and in the vehicle. Now, one thing, I have a whole box. Well, I, I had a lot of early uh, uh, music, and like bound music. So I put that aside, and I also had a box. It's out in the vehicle, I believe, of boards and stuff. And the thing is, I, I have no use for these. But I figure maybe an artist or something would. So I'm keeping all of these, and I'll have them on a shelf, and they can use them as they please. Frank Leslie's Illustrated, the New York Illustrated, I've done very well with a bound copy of that. So I have a big pile of that to go through. I got also these cute little books. I, I believe these were like little gift books that probably like women gave to each other. The birthday gift, 1846. They're a little beat up, but they're cute with little um rhymes and poems in them i thought those were neat um I, these little miniatures yeah the front board is is obviously detached but um i still sell these uh let me see you go the beauties of johnson consisting of selections from his work 1828 really cool little miniatures Let's see what this one is an essay of the kingdom of I believe, Christ by Adam Booth, 1802 New Haven, printed by William Morse. Really cool. Oh, here's one for you. English and French War Guide, a military glossary. World War One, I, I believe. Let's see. Pull out map. Yeah, 1918. So that's pretty neat. Just great stuff what's this one? Oh, field artillery 1911 oh let me show you this old bible i got guys but as you can see here's the uh his geological or geographical history of new york people against uh liquor traffic beautiful little early calf bound books let me show you this cool early bible well before i do i got like uh scribner's uh mag magazines and some of them have like burroughs works in them i really enjoy john burroughs uh the abbott civil war set always does really well for me this is a beautiful clean one and then volume two is really beat up i got like a nice set here of uh new york set uh new york state a history um by sullivan five volume not worth an incredible amount of money but nice to have and i also got another set of this set that's in the 
that's in here. Uh, New York and the War of the Rebellion. It's not as, as in nice shape as this, but, you know, now I'm able to offer a little bit of a lesser quality set for um, a more reasonable number. And I wish that this was here. I wish this was complete. This is documents relating to the colonial history of the state of New York. Really cool. All right, let's see that Bible. This will be the last one I show you. This is an old ancient bird. Um, check out this. It's on German. And uh, I just want, I was just curious to look into this. These are the notes. First printed in Lubingen, 1729 by the brothers Johann George and Christian Coda. Um, so really cool. And uh, very large, very heavy on German. If there's any Germans out there. Someone's missing their Bible. I might have it. But that was neat. I just wanted to look into who made it and, and everything. Guys, that's going to be it for me. I just wanted to show you a smattering of um, some of the material that I enjoyed from the pick. There's obviously too much to, to show. That's kind of how it goes. But you can see the listings as they go up if you follow my eBay seller site. I will be making a couple announcements um i do have a website that will be coming out at the end of the month of november um so i'm on board special thanks to my friend ken for helping me move that forward i'll do a little online uh tour of that and um get into detail and i also have of course some very special news of a of an acquired building so i am going to give you the tour of that as well in the future so guys i hope you've been well out there thank you for all your support all your business and you know it means a lot to me so um like and subscribe if you haven't and hey until next time guys we'll see you later